Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuveer. In this class, we will discuss about list data type. In our previous classes, we discussed about string, numeric data types and loops and statements. So please follow our playlist from the beginning. We use the concepts which we already discussed in our previous classes. So please follow us from the beginning so that you will have a better understanding of the complete Python language. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, a list is an ordered, a list is a collection or a sequence of compound data types. So what's that collection or a sequence of compound data types and list is an ordered, changeable and allowed duplicates. So we will understand these concepts one by one. First we will understand how we define a list. A list can be defined by using list defined using square brackets. The first point here is a list is a collection or a sequence of compound data types. What does that mean here is, see let's take an example a is equal to 1 hello 5.5. Here 1 is an integer data type, hello is a string data type, 5.5 is a floating data type. So we can collect uh, compound data types means we can collect different data types in a list that is what the meaning of uh, compound data types here. So one is, is integer data type, hello is a string data type, 5.5 is a floating point data type. You can define any data type in the list. So that is what a list is a collection or a sequence of compound data types. Coming to the next point, a list is an ordered. What does that mean ordered here? Take this example, A is equal to 1, hello, 5.5. So we mentioned the list elements. We call these, um, these elements. 1 is an element, hello is an element, 5.5 is an element. So we, we mentioned an order. This is the first element, second element, third element. The list will maintain that order. So when we display the list, it will display in the order in which it is created. So when we discuss about in the in our next classes, when we discuss about set, it won't maintain that order. Set and dictionary data types won't maintain the order in which it, they are created. But list maintains the order in which it is created. That is the meaning of ordered means. So when we display, we will we'll check with an examples in our Python in our next. So coming to the next one is order changeable what's that mean here is changeable means uh, once the list is created it, we can change the list we can modify the list we can add elements we can delete elements uh, we can modify the element existing element that is what changeable means and it allows duplicates uh, so duplicate values are some of the data types which we discuss in our next classes they, some of them they don't allow duplicate values uh, we'll discuss them in our next classes uh, so duplicates a is equal to 1 comma 2 comma 5 comma 5 so the duplicate values are allowed here how the memory is allocated all these concepts we will discuss in our next classes for now we will we'll focus on how to define the list and what are the operators and what are the methods that present in the list so so the list indexes as we discussed in our previous class when we discussed about strings we discussed the concepts of indexes what's that mean is a, a sequence of characters in the string given indexes zero it starts from zero one two three like that the same way each element in the list are given some indexes values it starts from zero at the position zero at the index value zero one two three the same way list also uses negative index values minus one minus two minus three minus four it starts from if you if you mention it as minus one it will give the last element if you mention it as zero it will give the first element so let's check with some examples about list and how different methods act, uh, we can use different methods on the list in our uh, using our uh, ipython so let's take an example a is equal to one hello 5.5 when you display you, how we display print a means it will display the list so one hello 5.5 next one is duplicate so list hello duplicate values a is equal to one two five five so it is allowing duplicate values print when you display it so it is saying it as one two five five next how to access the elements in a list by using the index values we can access the elements in a list 
here we have considered a is equal to 1 2 5 5 the first element is given the index value 0 the second element 1 third element uh, 2 like that it will give the index values we can give they will already assign some negative indexes also negative means minus 1 here so if you want to access an element from the list we use print a of 1 means uh, in first index which uh, what's the value we have 2 that is what the output shows here 2 next uh, print a of minus 1 means it is the last element it will display so the output is a 5. The same way next how to access list using range of indexes. Uh, range of indexes means uh, the same concept here when we discussed about strings it is a slicing of strings uh, a part of the string can be accessed the same way a part of the list can be accessed by using the index values. Uh, how to access here is a of 2 to 5. It starts from second element, third element, fourth element. The same way, fifth position is not considered, fifth index is not considered. In our previous examples, in the range function also, we discussed about this. In the string functions also, in the string method uh, data type also, we discussed about this. Uh, coming to our next one, print, uh, if the initial position, initial index is not given, by default it will take the first one. See here, a is equal to hello, this is a python program list example so this is given the 0th uh, index value first two third fourth fifth sixth position we have to display from second position to fifth position means a second position third position fourth position elements uh, 0th 1 2 is python program these three values will elements will be displayed uh, is python program if the initial index is not given the final index is given it will default take it as the first element hello this is python program up to here if the final index is not given so what it will take default the last value is considered as the final index value next one is uh, we can use negative index values also minus 5 to minus 2 means uh, see check here minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 minus 5 to minus 2 means it won't consider the minus 2 up to minus 1 is considered so minus 5 minus 4 minus 3 so minus 2 is not considered up to minus 3 is considered. is python program is python program is our output so coming to our next one change element how to change elements in a list we can change elements by using this a of a third position element can be change it to java what is the third position element in our list hello this is python python is the third position element the third element third indexed element we are changing it to java so now when you display the print of uh, a hello this is java program list example so the only the third indexed element we are changing it coming to we can change a sequence of elements means a part of the list can be changed by using a of 0 comma 3 means uh, it's a semicolon 3 means uh, so from starting from 0 at the position first position second position second index value elements can be changed to hi it was uh, hi it was java program list example this is how we can change the elements and now coming to the next uh, we can loop uh, through the elements in the list uh, a is equal to hello this is our list example for i in a what it will do loop will iterate in the list it will take the first element it will take the second element it will take the third element like that like that it will iterate in the list uh, for i in a print uh, i so what is the output here hello this is python program list example it is taking one by one and it is displaying uh, Next one is check if element exists or not. This one we are using it from last two classes in the strings membership element member in whether the element exists or not. What's that mean? Membership function in not in. Okay, hope you know what membership is because we already discussed it two times in our previous classes. In is used to hello. If hello is present in A, A means it's a list. If it is present, it will display, it will return back a true value. If the condition is true, it will go into the print statement and print element exists. So the output is element exists. That is what membership function is. Len function, len function gives the length of the string. So the length of the string is len of a is equal to 7 total how many elements are there 7 elements are there coming to the list methods 
The first one is append method. Append method is used to add an element to the list. By default, append method adds an element at the end of the list. Okay. So let's take an example. Hey, a is equal to hello. This is Python program list example. A dot append of. We are appending a new element called monkey. It's a string data type. So it will append default. It will append on the end of the string so if you display the list hello this is python program list example at the last we are having monkey value so that is what it will do append will do in the last position so next coming to the insert method so insert is used to insert the element at the position you want at the index position you want that is what insert method is so a is equal to hello this is the same example a dot insert of insert this example in the first index value so it will move the elements to the next and it will place this example in the first first index position so 0th position hello the first position will come as example and the second position goes to this so output here is hello example this is a python program so that is what about insert function remove function removes the element from the list we can remove a dot remove of this it will identify it will search for this in the list and it will delete it will remove that element so coming to the next pop method pop method is used to delete an element from the list using an index value so if you want to delete an element from the first index position we can give it in a dot pop of 1 if you don't mention any index position by default it will take the last element so that's why hello this is python program list example we mentioned a dot pop of means by default it will take the example and we mentioned a dot pop of 1 this should be removed so the output here is hello this is a python program list example is a removed from the list next one if you want to clear the entire list we use the method called clear method a is equal to hello if you dot a dot clear of it will display the empty list empty list is given as a square brackets next one is reverse method if you want to reverse the elements in the list we will use the method called reverse method a dot reverse of it will display the elements in the reverse order example list program like that we can sort the elements in the list we can use the method called sort method we can sort the elements in the list so a is equal to hello this is python we it will sort in the dictionary order dictionary order means uh, all these are strings that's why it will considered as e is the first element uh, because in, according to dictionary order e comes first then h comes first uh, next i l p p t if both are same p p then it will check the second character which one is having the according to dictionary order which one is uh, first one that's why p r p y is the next one that's why it is showing program in the first and the python in the next one okay this is the order it, in which uh, the sort function follows next one is index method so what's this index method means uh, if you mention an element it will at what position the element is uh, that index value will be returned so a dot index of is at what position the is element is present in the list that is what it will identify and it will give the index value at what position zero first second position that is the output it is giving so these are the sum of the methods and these are the concepts which we have to understand about list and in our next class we discuss about how list within a list and in our later class we will discuss about how memory is allocated to the list okay hope you understand the concepts about the list if you so if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you